So when we've got an isobus implement on the tractor, when it's loading for the first time, you'll see down the, uh, the down the bottom here a loading bar, and here the uh, the UT symbol flashing uh, blue and green. That's just saying that it's uh, making contact with the uh, isobus implement for the uh, for the very first time, and it's uh, bringing in what they call is the uh, the operating pool. So afterwards when you next load up an implement it'll be uh, more instantaneous when it does it. But you can see here then we've got the uh, UT in green so I can press there and now we can see our uh, our particular uh, implement uh, there. If I had multiples then I could uh, press the uh, that UT button up the top there and, uh, and, and come up and be able to select other ones. When you've updated uh, any uh, software on the uh, certainly on the implement side, so on the IceBus implement, it's a good uh, good thing just to uh, delete what what we call is the polls, just to make sure then that any of those changes have been fully taken through. So up here is we see a trash can with IceBus. If you uh, if you tap in here is then we got the the option here, so I could delete all object polls, or here then is uh, I could delete then the operating mask for my particular uh, implement there. Um, for the uh, for the particular spreader I've got, and I can hit that one, and then the if I key the uh, key the tractor off, uh, let the screen shut down. When you uh, key back on, then it'll uh, you'll see that new uh, new loading uh, process going uh, going on.